Well, hello. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we got a great show with lots of food, art exhibits coming Ooh. up. We're even talking about some of the breakfast food that your kid might enjoy. And let me tell you, this is elevated from just your typical cereal or pancakes or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, what did you used to rock back in the day as a kid going oh, to school? I did a lot of toaster strudels. Okay, yeah. And then I would get in trouble because I would take the icing and eat it by itself out of the packaging oh. and then you wouldn't have enough icing to go with the strudels. Just like cut off the thing and then oh, squeeze it in? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can fun. see <laughs> Chef Brandon over there thinking that is Just. not what we want, our friends from Chartwells, yeah. <laughs> Just shaking his head in disdain, just like. <laughs> Start the day with just a ton of sugar. Yeah, just a fun way to get the day kicked off. Yeah, I was usually like a cereal guy. Yeah, what kind of cereal? Um, back in the day, I was like, do you remember Crispix? You remember Crispix? It was kind of like adjacent to like a Chex okay, kind of Chex, scenario. Chex mix. With um, Chex. I'm trying yeah. to think. Corn pops on occasion. Okay, yeah. Our family was kind of boring when it came to cereal. <laughs> it was like Rice Krispies, bland Cheerios. Or they were just protecting you from having so much sugar. Hundred yeah. percent. But as a kid, I'm just like, why can't I have? You're like, where's the Cookie Crisp? Yeah, where are the tricks? Where's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Can we please get Lucky Charms, <laughs> please? Uh, right now, I'm kind of rocking. Like today, I had like a like a Greek yogurt That's berry. Very very responsible situation. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. I mean, I know it. Here's the deal. I know it's nutritious for me. Right. But there gotta is get still that protein. Yeah, I gotta get that protein in, dog. But uh, there's still a part of me that's like, you know, the kid at heart. Oh yeah. 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 I love the cinnamon toast at Patachu because Ooh. it takes me back to having cinnamon toast as a kid all the time. Oh, man, see here, I I will judge a restaurant based on the toast options yeah. that they have, and I know that's such a first world thing to say. I get it. <laughs> but like, if you've got a nice rye toast on the menu, Oof. Oof. Quality. I am in. Please believe. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys. Anyway, yeah. So we have a great show ahead. <laughs> and one of the things we love to do on this show, we love giving things away. Mm -hmm. We told you about this yesterday. We have two incredible prize packs to give away. It was featured by our friend Carly DeRoji when she came on the show. The theme was all about some of the best things out there to help new parents. So you're looking at prize pack number one on your screen. You're seeing everything it entails there. You can obviously a wide range of different things that would help. That one's valued at $430. Yeah, and here's the second one. Uh, mini mat, nursing bras, pumps, bottle sterilizers, dryer, Ubi wipes warmer. This is, uh, if you've got kind of a bougier baby in your life that really needs <laughs> the warm butt. A bougie baby? A bougie baby butt. <laughs> Uh, that's that's option number two. That's valued at like what four hundred and so, oh, close to five hundred bucks. Yeah. So that's yeah, we, a good one. we're going to be giving you the code words for each of those prize packs at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. So you got to stick around for that. Okay. And we're doing it all week. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the week, if you've sent in all the code words, you will be in the drawing then to win one of those prizes, and we'll announce the winners next week. So good luck to everybody. Entering yes, right we now. got a ton of entries I for know, those yesterday. Did, yeah. So stick around for the end. Hey, we always like to start things off. On a good note! Yeah, we do. We're continuing the giveaways with a four pack of tickets to the Flower and Patio Show taking place at the State Fairgrounds. That's March 9th through the 17th. So if you would like a chance to win this one, go ahead and email us. Indie Now Giveaway at fox59.com. Put flower and patio in the subject line. That's some good B roll right there. And also, <laughs> uh, that's not all. We're giving away a four pack of tickets to the Supercross Championship taking place at Lucas Oil Stadium on March 16th for your chance to win. It's the same email address. It's a different subject line, though. Indie Now giveaway at fox59.com. Put Supercross in that subject line if you want to enter to win those tickets. Yeah, we're giving away those tickets every day, too. Yeah. So that's a whole new batch of winners that we've had from yesterday as well. 